So the idea of this um, screen grab is to talk you through the concepts of energy security and risk. One of the key things we're going to be looking at is to examine the tensions between energy producers and consumers and to look at what creates increased costs and potential conflicts. The key thing to explore is the issues to do with crude oil prices. Now one of the things we ask you to focus on is looking at different energy sources but oil is one of the most talked about products in the world and oil prices in particular are a key focus along with other energy sources such as gas. Now what you'll notice by the graph on the screen is that since 1970 oil prices have fluctuated but it's only been since around 2001 that we've really seen st started to see the rapid increase that has been occurring recently. The graph on the on the screen allows us to look at a number of different events which have had significant impacts on oil prices. One of the key events that occurred very early on was in 1973 which is the Arab-Israeli war. This is one of the things which caused western nations to panic somewhat and consider where their energy supplies were coming from. One of the things you can do is if you go and onto YouTube and look at the OPEC oil embargo of 1973, you can start to see some of the issues that were created and the panic created by this event. Aside from this, oil prices have fluctuated up and down for pretty much the last 30 years until a recent trend since around 2001 where they've started to go up rapidly and they continue to go up to this day. Different events have had different impacts on oil prices. You'll notice in the late in the mid mid to late eighties that oil prices have crashed. Okay, this was due to various economic reasons occurring around the globe. But notice they never actually returned to the low pre the Arab Israeli War. This was due to OPEC, which are the oil producing nations, clubbing together and controlling prices. Wars tend to have a significant impact on oil prices, in particular the Gulf War of 91 caused oil prices to rocket. This was due to restricted um, supplies coming out of the Middle East. Again, other events have caused significant changes to oil prices and it tends to be conflicts which cause the price to go up. By 2008, oil prices have reached $100 a barrel and one of the things we need to consider is why this is occurring. What you're going to need to do to do, uh, carry on this work is you're going to need to find a copy of the graph and then what we want you to do is we want you to annotate the graph to explain the different events which have affected oil prices. Where you can get a copy of the graph is on the BBC website. If you type in why the oil prices keep rising you'll get a copy of this graph. Underneath, underneath this you'll see a series of ideas which would talk about various different events going on in the world at various different points in time and these help to explain the specifics behind the changes in oil prices Okay, and every single event has been mentioned on there up until 2008. What you then need to do is consider looking at overall global oil prices and you can do this very quickly just by going onto Google and just going in global and typing in global oil prices and you'll get an up to date picture of what the oil prices are for today as of the 24th of September oil prices were currently sitting at $92 a barrel for the American crude and $109 for Brent crude oil this is quite significant but when you compare it to the information on this on the graph that we were looking at you can see that oil prices have changed fairly stable, stably since 2008 but they've gone up and then gone down again so you need to then explain why these issues why what's happened to oil prices since 2008 now should you have any questions you should even email even myself or mr morehouse in regards to figuring this out okay thank you very much